just want to ask about this court. It's the Roberts court, but it's the Roberts courts with the Trump injection, the three justices that came in during the Trump's four years. Uh, what does this court look like going into the next session? What should we all be mm -hmm. watching in the aftermath of these two historic rulings? Well, this is no longer the Roberts court. Um, it's now the Trump court. Uh, Robert still has some influence at the margins. For example, he'll have an enormous amount of influence on religion cases. He himself uh, sides for religious exercise over the establishment clause. We saw that in the main decision. I think we're going to see that in the decision involving the football coach who prayed right. uh, at half uh, court. Um, so I think we're going to see religion uh, prevailing over secularism in, in the court. We're going to also see defendants' rights diminished somewhat, um, and um, other social rights, it really will depend. I don't think the Supreme Court will ultimately abolish gay marriage rights or um, uh, uh, other rights of contraception that don't involve uh, actual victims. But, you know, this is the beginning of a new era of uh, the right of privacy, and we have to see how it evolves over time. We've been through this before. Yeah. The New Deal was a new era. Uh, the Warren Court was a new era. Both of those eras helped liberals and hurt conservatives. This time, the shoe was on the other foot. And we who are liberal have to understand that we can't engage in violence. We can't start packing the court and destroying the institution. We have to work within the law and within the First Amendment.